Hello, this is Rick Seebeck, the superintendent of Gladham Community Schools. We've been working really hard lately to get the information to you in the community about the May 2nd bond proposal centered around the construction of a new junior high. Up to this point, we focused mainly on the physical aspects of the building, things like safety features, green spaces, playgrounds, bus loops, and parent drop-off areas. In this next video, I'd like to share with you some information about how this new building will specifically improve the educational aspects of what we do at our junior high. In this brief video, I'd like to spend a few moments talking about the educational benefits a new junior high school will provide to our students. First, a new junior high will greatly improve the learning environment for our students. The current school now has heating, ventilation, plumbing, and electrical systems that at 89 years of age have worked well beyond their life expectancy and frankly are too old to be upgraded to current codes. It's important to remember that some of the plumbing in the 89-year-old structure is made of wood. Secondly, up-to-date classrooms will be constructed to accommodate new teaching methodologies and the use of educational technology. Especially noteworthy is that the new learning spaces will be constructed to enhance fine arts and music instruction and provide choir and band students with improved learning spaces that are acoustically designed for music instruction. Third, the new junior high school will have classrooms designed for science, technology, engineering, arts and math, as well as CTE instruction, which is focused specifically on the trades. Fourth, the new junior high will expand educational opportunities by providing junior high school students with access to high school level learning opportunities when appropriate. Fifth, the new junior high will benefit the educational program by providing increased capacity for teacher planning and collaboration, both among junior high school teachers and between junior high and high school teachers. The result of such planning and collaboration will greatly expand teacher creativity and provide new and improved educational opportunities for both the junior high and high school kids. Sixth, the new junior high will include a new gym with a new fitness area, an elevated track, space for multiple team practices, and new locker rooms. The new gym will also help our student athletes by reducing the number of late night practices. As you can see, the new junior high school is about more than just bricks, boilers, and roofs. While these are essential elements of our bond proposal, they are all designed to create an environment that provides improved educational opportunities for all of our junior high school students. We've seen the benefits of facility upgrades at the elementary and high school levels. It seems only fair that these benefits should be extended to our current and future junior high students. Thank you for listening, and please remember, Vote on May 2nd or any time before then by absentee ballot. And as usual, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call at 989-429-0610.